The first electronic computers used vacuum tubes as their primary switching elements. The first general-purpose electronic computer, ENIAC, used more than 17,000 vacuum tubes and was completed in 1945. Vacuum tubes were large, fragile, and produced a lot of heat, which limited the size and reliability of early computers. The development of the transistor in the late 1940s and early 1950s revolutionized computing. Transistors were much smaller, more reliable, and produced less heat than vacuum tubes, making it possible to build smaller and more powerful computers. The first transistorized computer, the Tradic, was built by Bell Labs in 1954. The next major development in CPU technology was the invention of the integrated circuit, IC, in the late 1950s. An IC is a small chip that contains multiple transistors and other electronic components. ICs allowed the creation of more powerful CPUs in smaller packages, which led to the development of the first personal computers in the 1970s. In the 1980s and 1990s, CPUs became more powerful and specialized, with the introduction of CPUs designed specifically for graphics processing, GPUs, and for handling complex mathematical calculations, math coprocessors. The development of parallel processing, in which multiple CPUs work together to perform tasks more quickly, also became more common in the 1990s. In the early 2000s, the focus shifted to reducing the size of CPUs and making them more power efficient. This led to the development of mobile CPUs for smartphones and tablets, as well as ultra-low power CPUs for embedded systems. Today, CPUs continue to evolve rapidly, with the introduction of new technologies such as multi-core processors, which contain multiple processing cores on a single chip, and 64-bit processors, which can handle larger amounts of memory than 32-bit processors. CPUs are also becoming more specialized for specific applications, such as artificial intelligence and machine learning. The CPU, or central processing unit, is the main component of a computer that performs most of the processing operations. It is often called the brain of the computer. The CPU is responsible for executing instructions and performing arithmetic and logic operations on data. The CPU has two main components, the control unit, CU, and the arithmetic logic unit, ALU. The CU is responsible for fetching instructions from memory and executing them in the correct order. The ALU performs arithmetic and logic operations on data. The CU and ALU work together to execute instructions and process data. The CU interacts with other parts of the computer by receiving input from the computer's memory and input, output devices, and sending output back to those devices. The CU uses a clock to synchronize the processing of instructions and ensure that they are executed in the correct order. The ALU receives data from the computer's memory and registers, performs the required operation, and stores the result in the appropriate register. The ALU is responsible for performing arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and logical operations, and OR, not XOR, on data. The speed and performance of the CPU are critical to the overall performance of the computer. A faster CPU can execute instructions and process data more quickly, leading to better performance. The history and evolution of the CPU have led to the development of smaller, faster, and more specialized CPUs, with clock speeds reaching several gigahertz and CPUs becoming capable of performing complex operations such as multimedia processing and 3D graphics rendering. Clocking and overclocking are also important concepts related to CPUs. Clocking refers to the speed at which a CPU operates. This speed is measured in clock cycles per second, also known as Hertz, HZ. The faster a CPU's clock speed, the more instructions it can process per second, which generally results in faster overall performance. Overclocking is the practice of increasing a CPU's clock speed beyond its rated specifications in order to achieve even higher performance. This is often done by increasing the CPU's voltage, which can cause the CPU to generate more heat and require more power. Overclocking can be a risky practice, as it can cause the CPU to become unstable or even permanently damage it if done improperly. However, when done correctly, overclocking can provide a significant performance boost for certain applications.
Many enthusiasts and gamers overclock their CPUs to achieve higher frame rates and faster rendering times. It's worth noting that some CPUs are designed specifically for overclocking, with unlocked multipliers and other features that make it easier to increase their clock speeds. However, even with an overclockable CPU, it's important to be cautious and ensure that the CPU is properly cooled and voltage levels are safe to avoid damaging the hardware. Frequency is a term that is closely related to clock speed in CPUs. The frequency of a CPU is the number of clock cycles it can perform in one second, measured in Hertz, Hz. For example, a CPU with a clock speed of 3.2 GHz, GHz, has a frequency of 3.2 billion clock cycles per second. The frequency of a CPU is an important factor in determining its performance, as a higher frequency generally means that the CPU can perform more instructions per second. However, it's worth noting that frequency is not the only factor that determines a CPU's performance, and a CPU with a lower frequency may still be faster than one with a higher frequency if it has more advanced architecture or other optimizations. There are several factors that can affect the performance of a CPU. These include Clock speed The clock speed, measured in gigahertz, GHZ, is the frequency at which the CPU can execute instructions. A higher clock speed typically means the CPU can execute more instructions per second, resulting in faster overall performance. Number of cores A CPU's cores are individual processing units that can perform tasks independently of each other. CPUs with more cores can execute multiple instructions simultaneously, which can result in faster performance for applications that are designed to take advantage of multiple cores. Cache size The cache is a small amount of high-speed memory that a CPU uses to store frequently accessed data. CPUs with larger cache sizes can access data more quickly, which can result in faster performance for applications that require frequent access to data. Instruction Set Architecture ISA The ISA is the set of instructions that a CPU can execute. CPUs with more advanced ISA can execute more complex instructions more efficiently, resulting in faster performance for certain applications. Thermal Design Power TDP. The TDP is the maximum amount of power that a CPU can consume while operating at its base frequency. CPUs with higher TDPs can consume more power, allowing them to achieve higher performance. Manufacturing Process The manufacturing process determines the size of the transistors on a CPU. CPUs manufactured using smaller transistors can operate at higher clock speeds and consume less power, resulting in higher performance and better energy efficiency. Cooling Solution The cooling solution used to keep the CPU temperature under control can also affect performance. CPUs that run too hot may need to slow down to prevent damage, which can result in slower performance. Efficient cooling solutions can help maintain optimal temperatures and prevent thermal throttling, resulting in better performance. In conclusion, the CPU is the primary component of a computer that performs most of the processing operations. It consists of the control unit and arithmetic logic unit, which work together to execute instructions and process data. The speed and performance of the CPU are critical to the overall performance of the computer, and the history and evolution of the CPU have led to the development of smaller, faster, and more specialized CPUs.